So a few years ago, my husband and I went on a trip to Sicily for the summer, and um, we stayed all over the island in different Airbnbs, you know, a few days in every spot at a time, and we were able to go around uh, the whole island. Um, and one of the <clears throat> the spots we, we rented out was in a town called Polizzi Generosa, and this town was inland, <laughs> um, with a drive that went up a mountain for hours and it was at the tip top of this mountain and it was still advertised as uh close to the ocean in the airbnb um listing but we got all the way up there and it was such an interesting weird town it was such a weird place and it was so mysterious and we did research about it when we got there because we were just so confused what we had walked into and we actually ended up uh canceling the reservation and getting some money back because we um a long story and I think I'm going to do another video on why we ended up leaving but so we end up leaving and staying in this um at this B and B, that's like of, I don't know, twenty minutes down the mountain. So this town is at the tip top of this mountain. Um, you know, three hundred and sixty degree views all the way around. And one day we're at the B and B, and so well we're staying at this B and B, and we would go up for dinners or for lunch or just to walk around and check things out. Um, up into Polizzi Generosa every once in a while and we're trying to enjoy it but it's just such a weird place and we have like a few just like not that enjoyable interactions and we're definitely like the only Americans for miles and people aren't psyched on that and but we def we just made the most of it and so one day we just get kind of uh, homesick we're just kind of sick of being away from home, being in Europe, being in Sicily, which even that is different than Europe and Europe's different than it's just it was all so, so different. And it started to wear off the novelty of that started to wear off. And we were just having like, this is my life now moments as we're like, feeling stuck. And so we find out there's a McDonald's about two and a half hours away. So we drive all the way out there for a little date and it ends up being a lot of fun. We find a bowling alley on the way back and that really fills our cup of like needing to be home. Um, we're, we're recharged for the rest of our stay. And so we're feeling good, flying high, feeling positive about this trip and as we're coming back from this two and a half hour drive away, now we're like, maybe, I don't know, we're getting close and we're on one side of the mountain that the that Polizzi Generos is on and our B&B is on the other side. So our options are go through Polizzi Generosa or go around the mountain. So we decide, let's take the scenic route. Let's go through the town. Let's see it one last time. Um, give it one last chance because it actually is a really beautiful cool interesting place so you know let's go soak it up we'll miss it when we're gone so we drive through and it's a small town and you know we've been there so many times to go have dinners and whatnot so we don't need to pull out google maps or anything so i believe it was a weekend and if you're not familiar <laughs> I don't I don't even know if this is all over Europe, if it's just Italy, if it's just Sicily, but the traffic signs are so confusing. And so one minute you're on a road driving and the next minute that road is only now for bikes or it's only for pedestrians and there's like a restaurant set up in the middle of the road or um you know suddenly it's a one way and you're going the wrong direction things like that happen to us a lot and so uh it's just kind of a funky confusing place so we're driving through um thinking you know we're, we just you know there's 
a back door and a front door basically to this town. We came in the back door. If we just head in the direction of the front door, we'll exit the town and head to our B and B. And so we're just driving in the general direction, and the road we're on is starts getting smaller and smaller, and the walls are closing in on us. And、uh, we're thinking, hey, this road is super narrow. Like we know our little Panda Fiat is tiny, but I don't know if it's this tiny. Like it's not donkey pulling a cart tiny. This is a super old town, and. Maybe we're not supposed to be here, and the road's just getting skinnier and skinnier. So we stop, and we're like, "There's no way we can keep going. Let's just back up." So we go to back up, and there's a car behind us. So obviously, this is a direction, a street that people drive. So I guess we just keep going forward, and it'll get better. We see kind of an opening ahead, so we're like, "We'll just, you know, we'll go in there and." Maybe worst case scenario, we can turn around in there or something. So we get into this opening, but no, it's it it opens up a little bit into like a little kind of courtyard type thing. But it kind of looks like it's everyone's like back stoop,、uh, and the only way out is, you know, crossing through it and and going down this even smaller alleyway. Like there's no way this is where we're supposed to go. Right, so and mind you, it's not just like straight ahead. You have to kind of go diagonal, and there's not really enough room to like angle the car into this tiny alleyway. So we're trying, and I don't drive stick. And my husband's experience with driving manual is, I believe, mostly only with a motorcycle. I mean, he's just a smart person and understands how to like go from bike to car. He's a little rusty, and he's doing his best. He's doing really well, but it's just a really hard maneuver. And we're going back, we're going forward and back and forward and back, and we're backing up a little more into the the other alleyway, trying to get a good angle. And the car behind us is getting really <clears throat> fed up with this, and there's smoke going everywhere, and the tires are screeching, and like, you know, you can smell rubber burning, and it's just like a. <laughs> Stressful situation, and I look to my right out the window, only to see that there is a like fairy light lit violin concert going on in this little、um, like courtyard next to the courtyard thing that we're in, and <clears throat> very nicely dressed、uh, musicians and nicely dressed. Guests and everyone looks beautiful, and they're all staring at us. The musicians are not playing; they're standing on stage with their instruments in their hands, looking at us. And we're like, "Great, we both just melt under their gaze." And he's like, "We got to get out of here," and he just kind of goes for it, and you know, jolts forward. The car lunges forward. We. Scrape up the front right fender as we turn into this alleyway, and don't worry. There's all these old ladies standing on their back stoops with their brooms in their hands and their aprons on, giving us this Sicilian glare, just glaring us down. Thinking, "Why are you here? What are you doing? You don't belong here." <laughs> Even if cars do drive through there, like they just knew we didn't belong there. <laughs> And we get by them with their stoops that are basically in the alleyway. We like feel the stoops with the tires as we drive by, and it's just something that we have talked about and brought up a lot, and we'll never forget ruining that violin concert and ruining those old ladies' night.